Okay, I just have a really big problem. I just have way too many power banks and that's one of the reasons and just please don't tell my girlfriend that I have so many different power banks. I always told her that, that I just have two or three. Um, at the end, it's now 10 power banks here. I just bought all these power banks with my own money. Um, they all just serve somehow a different purpose, um, at least for me. And I thought it would be a good idea to make a power bank bias guide just for you. So just you, you don't need to buy this many power banks. Um, this chunky boy over here. Um, so I have here 10 completely different power banks in front of me and I just want to tell you in this video what you need to keep an eye on when you buy one and if there's one solution to fit them all um, for every occasion out there. So um, let's just get started right after the intro. Here we go and welcome to the idea of technology. My name is Michael and today we're just trying to figure out which power bank is best for you and what you need to keep an eye on when just choosing the one power bank for your needs and your occasions out there. And I just want to give you some help and just want you not to spend so many money on so many different power banks like I did in the past. So um, let's just get started. Okay, so the first and most important reason to buy a power bank is obviously to charge your devices when you're on the go. And this is just probably the very first decision you need to make how often or which device you wanna charge. And that means just take a look at the capacity you just need for your um, specific needs at the end. Um, this just can ranks from this such a small uh, Tau power bank here. I will also do a little giveaway at the end of the video, so just stay tuned. Um, and at the end, I will just explain how you can just get one of these super tiny, super convenient power banks because they have just integrated cables. So you just don't need to carry cable. Every other one of these here in front of me just need to have additional cables, um, not this one. So we can just take a look at super tiny solutions like these here, just with 1,400 milliamps, super tiny, up to the more common ones the 5000 range here, um, one super cheap Chinese solution from Inope or somehow it's pronounced like that, as well as Orki, um, super common, these round ones. Um, I have already opened, uh, I've already opened this one um, for another video. So if you want to see this also get subscribed, it will be really funny, but um, this is now just really old and I needed um, the battery inside to, um, do a little other project on this channel. Furthermore, you will also just take a look at the 10,000 milliamp hour range. This is also just really popular. I will just talk about this later in more detail. I have just one solution from Zendur, um, as well as a solution from Anker, also just really popular. So Orki and Anker are just the most common um, power bank producers out there. And normally, if you choose the power bank from Anker or Orki, you just doesn't do anything wrong. So these 10,000s are just really suitable to charge your mobile phone multiple times and even can charge up to two devices at the same time or has some pass through charging. So this is just a really a range I would recommend if you need something more powerful or you have just a powerful mobile phone. Now getting more into the beefier um, section here, um, when the 5000 and 10,000 are was just more suitable to fit in your pocket and um, you will just probably have a bad time to fit these ones here into, in your pocket. I have the OmniCharge uh, mobile series here, OmniCharge also just one of the newer or latest um, companies producing power banks, really special ones, really beefy ones for all different kinds. I was choosing this OmniCharge solution here, um, the mobile one, because it just powers USB Type-C and Quick Charge 3, as well as wireless charging on the top. And now we're talking about 46 watt hours, which is just half the size you can get on your plane. So we are maxing out at 100 watt hours. Most of the notebooks does it like MacBook Pro 16 inch and all the others um, out there producing power banks or notebooks are also just fitting to the TSA 100 watt hour limit. Um, so this is just basically half the size of it. And now we're just getting into the really beefy battery territory like um, this one from Zendur. I really, um, this was just one of the first um, I got with USB Type-C power delivery with up to 45 watt hours. And this just boosts 20,100 milliamp hours and nearly 75 
watt hours. So this is just really beefy and even 50% larger than the OmniCharge version. And at the same size and capacity, I've also my super old anchor here. This just boosts a three USB type A, so no type C and also just USB and micro USB charging. So this just takes an eternity to get fully charged. I think seven or eight hours because this is also equipped with um, 77 watt hours. So nearly the same size as the Zendur version here. And that brings us perfectly to the maximum capacity you can just get and you just take an eye on if you really want to because all these others here are just normally made for charging your mobile phone multiple times or charging your tablets or what you have out there or except the Zendur one. This is also just capable of putting out power delivery with 45 watts. So this is a little exception, but all the others are more likely to range to have just lower um, power output, um, the Omni Charge I will just talk about in a minute. But now we're getting into the range of 100 watt battery capacity. So the maximum you can carry on a plane and the maximum you probably just want because these two here just power just everything you need with USB Type-C or even with an AC port. So taking a look at the um, Zender Power Tank Pro tank, I don't know. This is currently also funding with a newer version from Zender, uh, so they just make really awesome products. You can see I've also just um, a couple of their batteries already, so I really like the the brand. It's just also just a newer brand than compared to Aki or Anker, but they're just doing really awesome and crowdfunding a lot of stuff, so you can get the very first models really, really cheap. At the moment, uh, a newer version of this battery just also just funded on, I think it's on Kickstarter again. So you can just look it up. I would just also put a link down in the video description. Special about this one, um, it boosts, um, as I mentioned, the 99.9 .9 watt hours and is capable of delivering 100 watt power delivery out and in. That means you can charge this up roughly one, one and a half hours. So super, super fast if you have a fast charger. Um, I also made a video about the Hyperjuice charger. It's a 100 watt power delivery charger. You can look it up here if you want to. On the other side, it also just boosts two USB Type-C, so one with 100 watts, watts, one with 60 watts, and just another two USB Type-A's with 15 and 18 watts. So you just really get everything in this somehow even st just still small form factor, but um, the maximum battery capacity if you really want to power your um, MacBook Pro or every other USB powered um, notebook out there, this is just really a way to go. And if this is not really enough for you, you really just want to take a look at solutions like from this Roam Proof here, all just OmniCharge was pretty much one of the first brands out there. They just delivered products. Um, this is just really special because this is just all made out of metal, um, super sturdy, um, also drop proof, waterproof. And this is just really for someone who lives <laughs> outdoors and just want to have power every time. And you get some LEDs on the front, which is just super awesome, as well as a little solar panel on the back. So even you can just charge it, it just puts out 500 milliamps. So it's not that high and you really have a bad time charging this complete device just with solar power. But maybe you have a bigger solar power charger or just stick it um, into your wall uh, with this on this side with USB type C and just charge it. You have just two USB type A's each with 12 watts, just the standard watts, um, five volts, 2.4 amps as well as 45 watt hour power delivery. So the same as the Zendur, but the really special one about this one here is on this side. I put it up here in the, uh, in the, to the camera. You really have an AC port. That means this one can put out 100 watts with this AC port. If you really drain it, it's just dead after one hour. But um, here have a chance to really put out the 100 watts with AC. If you have devices that are not suitable for USB Type-C power delivery, that could be the case. And um, you really just need power on the go for everything. So this is just the way to go if it just needs to be big, sturdy and really heavy. On the other side, like I already mentioned, um, you really just need to focus on the capacity you really need, like want to charge your mobile phone just halfway up, but you just go for the tower one or just want to have a full charge. You go for more like 500 milliamp hour batteries. You can have a full charge and a little bit of um, um, uh, 
juice left there and you more likely want to go a couple of charges um, so for one day two day or full, for a full weekend you more likely go for 10,000 milliamp hours and if you want to also charge more devices at the same time as well as tablets they have probably just a b bigger battery just more likely go for something that has um, somehow in the range of 20,000 milliamp hours battery so this is just really good suit um, if you just pick one of these just keep in mind um, how fast this can charge but this is just the next topic and if you want to really max it out 100 watt hours and the complete capacity of I think it's 27,000 milliamp hours um, this is just the maximum you can carry on the plane and you just normally get and when I haven't just mentioned it before and um, you will just get all the products down in the video description I will just put down all the links um, I fear and hopefully they're all just available um, not each of them probably but um, you will find all the links and the products down in the video description and that brings us just perfectly to the second pretty important part is not only um, the form factor and the size and the capacity but also just the ports you really need to think about what kind of port you really need um, what I would totally avoid is the fact that you have a power bank with only micro USB input. For example, the Anker one here is a perfect example um, that just have the ability to only get charged with, with micro USB and the Taiwan over here with the docking station also. All the other ones here in front of me are also just able to get charged with USB type C. For example, like this NOP here, um, they have just two ports, micro USB as well as USB type C. Or for example, the um, Zendur one here as well, they have just two um, abilities to get charged and I really want to tell you that you should just keep an eye on always just go for USB type C and this is just made of two reasons. Reason number one it's just the more simple and way more easy uh, connector so you, so you can just um, put it in whatever direction you want to and the second part is it's just gonna be the standard um, for charging and USB type C just enables um, the ability to pow use power delivery. I also made a video about power delivery if you want to check it up here and this just ranges from, okay, we have input of just here with my Aki um, up to uh, 12 watts. This is just the standard charging capa uh, capability. Um, up to Zendur and Anker, they just boosting up to 18 watts. So this is just the same speed. Your iPhone could just get charged at max capacity. Um, the OmniCharge, for example, boosts up to 30 watts input. The Zendur one here up to 45 watts input. And if we're going up here, the um, Zendur uh, power tank here just gets up to 100 watt input, which is just super insane. And the maximum specification for power delivery 3.0. So um, this is just also really interesting to focus on how fast can you charge your um, power bank at the end and also how fast discharge your power bank to get fast juice into your uh, mobile phone your tablet or your notebook and talking about charges this would be just as completely new and different video i will probably do this in the future so if you want to see it just leave a comment down below and just tell me if you're really interested into it and you will also just see over there i just put a few of my charges with di different specifications because um, this was just a video for, for another day. But just keep an eye on, if you have a power bank, you also just need to focus on a suitable charger that has the right um, cap capability to charge your device, as well as also focus on the cables because um, even though your charger and your power bank is just suitable for power delivery 3.0, maybe your cable is just too old and you just need to focus and on a new cable and just buy it. That brings us now perfectly to the last part of this video. So which power banks should you get at the end? This heavily depends on your use case and what you want to do with it. But I can always just recommend if you go for Anker or Aki and even Zendur, you can just probably don't do anything wrong. Just please avoid the super cheap Chinese solution you can get out there, even the Sainopi here. They are just really budget friendly, but please invest in a couple of more dollars to buy a decent power bank because this can be at the end just also safety crucial and I just don't want the, your power bank to explode in your backpack or in your pocket. So always just stick to the bigger brands. This is just also the best and easiest advice. On the other side, I will just always probably pick two power banks if I have the budget. I will always just go for a super small light one that has super high density and a lot of capability to charge my smartphone. If I'm on the go, like the Zender or the Anker one, bo both are boasting power delivery with up to 18 watts. So these are just super awesome picks I really like for just on the go and just charging 
one device two times or three times, super easy. And if you have the budget, I will just also go for a bigger and beefier one that can also just charge your uh, notebook if you're into it. So I'm just a digital nomad and I will always love to have at least the ability that this is in my backpack and I know, okay, my surfers is now dead on my MacBook and I can completely recharge the complete battery of my notebook again to have another uh, couple of hours uh, of runtime. If you have the budget, go for a big one and as well for the smaller one. But if you only have just um, budget for one single power bank. I would probably pick the OmniCharge mobile series here in the middle because I like the form factor, the design. OmniCharge is also just really reliable. You have USB Type-C input with 30 watts input so you can really fast charge this um, 46 watt hours battery as well as you get USB Type-C output of up to 60 watts. So this is also just able to power your um, USB Type-C um, notebook at the end, not with a full speed, so you just really need to see how fast this can get, but this is at least able to power my Surface Pro 7 with full speed, which is just super amazing. This is, it's a complete charge of one um, Surface Pro 7 and a half charge of a, a MacBook Pro 16 inch at the end, but um, I like the design as well as you can just easily throw your um, Qi charging enabled uh, smartphone on here and just use it um, as a wireless charger as well as you have just quick charge 3.0 at the end with USB type A and this was just probably be the pick if I only can choose one power bank here and I need it every day I would go for this um, OmniCharge solution here. So this was just basically my advice on what kind of power bank should you pick um, from the really big ones for a couple of hundreds of dollars over here up to the super, super cheap ones on the other side and all just really reliable. I have no problem with any of them. So they're just still alive and having a really good um, battery at the end. So I would pick any of these. I have no too many and I hope my girlfriend don't see this video and now we're coming to the giveaway. So maybe you already saw it, I also made a video about the Tau chargers here, or at least I made an unboxing, you can also just check it up over here. So um, I have this Tau here in white and the black version I'm using for myself and this is just my, my review version here and I also got a green version so I would like to give away this green version down here and I would like to know from you down in the comment section why you really need a power bank. So um, just let me know um, who wants to get this power bank at the end. Just leave a comment and I will just pick randomly one winner and uh, we'll get in contact with them. So if you really want to get this little uh, power bank here and just have it stick somewhere like this and use it on your keychain or something. Just let me know in the comment section. I would be really amazed and let's see what idea you're coming up with. So if you dislike this video, you know what to do. But if you liked it, hit like down there, get subscribed and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video of the idea of technology. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.